Okay, this is paste into. So I'm going to begin with my gallery image and what I want to do is get, um, I want to select the picture images. So I'm going to go get the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to zoom in so I get a nice selection. And I've chosen this selection tool just because I think it fits best with the image as its uh, straight edge. So now I know exactly where that's going to go into and I'm going to go get my image. So what I want to do is select it all, which is Command A, and then I want to copy it, which is Command C. And I go back to my gallery picture, and instead of going paste, what I want to do is actually go to edit. I want to go to paste into. So what that's done is it's again made a mask. And you can see that little, little bit of white is where it's revealing the image below. So now what I want to do is transform this image. And I don't just want to make it smaller, I also want to change the perspective because it isn't a flat picture, it, it goes away from you. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform to Perspective. And I'm going to then drag my points. to get it to be the same aspect ratio. There we go, that's better. So that it does appear that it is coming away from us. I might just move that down a little bit. I'm pretty happy with that, so press enter. So that's great. Um, if I wanna do more of the images, I can make a new layer, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So this time I'm going to take this image, so Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it, and then back, oops, back to my original image. This time I'm going to do a mass gallery update here. So I'm going to quickly select all these back images. To add to my selection, I add Shift or hold Shift on the keyboard. Oops. So I'm still holding shift to add to my selection. Okay, and now I'm going to go edit, paste into again. And you can see that they've all updated at the same time. Now if I want to decide that I want to add more of these frames into my image, I can continue to add to them. So I'm going to select this one. Now to make it now see-through, I need to paint it out into the opposite color of my mask. And my mask is black, so I need to paint it out white. So I'm going to go under this gradient tool to the paint bucket tool. And the opposite of black is white and making sure that I am on the mask layer, not the image layer, I'm going to click it once, which will reveal it. And so then I can just go along, adding these frames to my image as long as I'm on the mask layer. I can continue to select those and add them to the original paste into. Okay, and again, I can go back and I can transform that image so I can see how big So I can see there my total gallery has been resubmitted, re-transformed into an underwater scene.